get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, Crafty Family, it's me. And today we are going to make this adorable little scarecrow. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. And it's very easy to make and there's no sewing involved. Um, not unless you want to sew for some reason, but in this case you don't have to. What you'll need is we're going to use some burlap. You can use like burlap ribbon or just burlap like this. And what I did, because this is kind of like very loose weave burlap, I doubled it. But if you have like a thicker weave burlap, you can just use one piece. Um, unless you like the look of it doubled, that's up to you. So I have this, and what I did was I took a piece like this and I folded it in half. And then I took something round and I used this. And I basically just cut around this as best I could. It doesn't have to be like perfection because the scissors are cut on my fingers. But I just basically made a circle and that to the side get rid of the fluffies and there you go you got your two circles so then what i did was i just took some turbo tacky glue and i just kind of dotted it to like so i put some dots and you can use whatever glue you want it doesn't have to be turbo tacky it can be regular Aileen's tacky glue. It can be, you know, if you're good with a hot glue gun, use that. It can be Elmer's glue will do the trick. Fabri-Tac. Anything like that. This is our little head for our little guy. I usually pull off the loose, very end ones. Just because it gives them a little bit more of a, um, just like that's hay, you know, around his face, basically. And for the hat, I made myself a little template, and you can make one too. They're not hard. You're just going to make a shape that's like this. You're just going to draw a little, like, like a little, like a little butt on the top, and then make a little hat. And then take a piece of fabric, and... See, mine already has pinking at the at the bottom, so I can use that. But if yours doesn't already have that, then you can just add it on afterwards, or you don't have to have it at all. Honestly, it's it's not imperative in any way, shape, or form to the to the design. But you're going to give the basic cut around that little you can either trace around it or just cut around it the way I am either way will work just fine just as long as you hold it in place okay and there you go and if it's at all a little lumpy or bumpy you can go back and fix it and now you want to make another cut for this. And this time you could trace it onto a piece of paper. And you're going to cut inside the line this time. So because we're going to need this as our support. So we're going to cut that out. But we're going to cut it out inside the line. And it doesn't have to be neat or anything. It doesn't have to make, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect or neat because this is just going to be the support piece. So it needs to go hiding behind this piece here. So like I see on the end here, it's not hiding. So we're going to like cut that off 
and it doesn't have to be perfect fit it just needs to it just needs to be capable of like i'm going to cut a little off of here just keep cutting away at it until it kind of hides behind the piece of uh, fabric that you use like that's good enough and then that'll give support because this is kind of flippy floppy you know whereas the burlap two pieces of burlap gave that support So we want to give this piece of fabric, whoa, whoa, no, no, I don't want you to glue my sweater together. And then you just cover it up like so, and if the glue sticks through a little bit, like if it comes through, It'll dry and it'll be fine when it dries. So don't worry too much about it. Oops, I may have put it on a little crooked. Okay, there we go. Just enough to give it some support. So here you have our hat and our little guy so far. Cute, cute. Now, We're going to put the little band around the hat, like I have here. And to do that, you can use another piece of, you can use a piece of ribbon. You can use a piece, this is burlap ribbon. It comes like this. And if you don't have this, use ribbon. You can use a piece of paper. And it doesn't matter what color it is, just make it color coordinating, make it stand out, do whatever you want. It's not, you know, an imperative, doesn't have to be the way I do it. It's just, it's, you do whatever you want, honestly. And then you're going to put it around like so and wrap it around the back. This time I'll do it with hot glue. Last time I did it with regular glue. Probably because I didn't have the hot glue gun ready. But you can just use Aileen's Tacky Glue. Just sticky as hell. Scissors are sticky apparently too. Okay. Anywho, now we're gonna wrap it around to the back. Straggly hairs that don't want to cut because the scissors suck. There we go. Straggly hairs. Okay, so now we've got our hat and we've got our face. Well, what will be a face. Now we got to put a flower or something on it. Um, you can use whatever you want. It does not have to be what I use and it can be anything you want it to be. You could put a button up there. Like I can take one of these and put it there. It's a little big, but you know, I happen to have these smaller, now that I dropped one on the floor, I happen to have these smaller brown flowers. So that works for me, but you use whatever you want. You can just put a gem, you know, a little gemstone or, or something. It does not have to be what I'm using. You could substitute a lot of things in this faux show and then in this one I put a little orange heart which I took one of these wooden hearts that are in here and I uh, put some ink on it and then I put some 
oh, what do you call it, um, stickles. And this time I think I'm just going to use an orange button like so, just because I think it's cute. We're going to use that button there. him out of the way um and now we can put him on to his little head make sure you leave enough room let's see which way do i want it to be like that leave enough room for your eyeballs and and your eyeballs and your mouth and such give it a second to dry because it's stuck to the glass right now but I used little buttons and this was like a little wooden bead thing um, but you can just use all buttons you can use paper you can cut out little eyes and nose it'll look just fine um, but I'm gonna see if I have another set of black buttons in here that'll work I've got a couple of different they could be different sizes to make it look cute You know, they don't have to be exactly the same, like these two are the same, but I could do like one big one, one little one. I think that would be cute for that one. Or do like one medium and one small. I think that's kind of cute, like that. And then for the nose, you can use another button or you can use a brad you can use a brad for the eyes you know anything goes really i think i have another one of these yeah i do i have another one of those little triangular beads so i'll use that so we can glue these on we're going to use two different buttons for the note for the eyes why not triangle for the nose which I just dropped luckily I found it like so and then I had a piece of what was it under here I had a piece of uh, like it's just suede cord and you can use yarn you can use cord use whatever you want I just used a piece of suede cord I cut it and I shaped it into a little smiley face and I used some tacky glue to put it down and I just think it worked just fine but like you can use yarn you can use a piece of you know black twine you can use a piece of paper doesn't have to be you know what I use you shape it into a little smiley face it's stuck to the table but how stinking cute is that isn't that cute and now you could save your little hat to make more obviously and I'm going to do a part two where we use this little scarecrow on a card. So stay tuned for that. So this is just the first part showing you how to make the scarecrow. And the next part will be showing you how to make a cute little card that goes with it. So I hope you enjoyed this and found it adorable because I find it very stinking adorable. And I hope you'll give it a try. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And also, I'll put some links in the description below of where you can get some of the things that I use today. So if you're looking for the glue or maybe some buttons or whatever, I'll try to find some links and put it in the, in the description so you can make 
your own scarecrows and I'll try to find some burlap and whatnot. So look for the links in the description below and also my Patreon. Check out my Patreon. That's a way to support my channel and also get things like live classes and all kinds of stuff like that um, that might interest you. Um, yeah. So I hope you have a great rest of your week. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do. Go see part two and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Mwah.